they have already brought their own very modern approach to royal duties. So it would be no surprise if the Duke and Duchess of Sussex bring the same woe qualities to their new Windsor home, which has just undergone a £3 million renovation. Official plans submitted to Windsor and Maidenhead Council suggest that Harry and Meghan are set to have a range of enlightened amenities including a yoga room and gym, an eco-boiler and an outbuilding conversion that would be perfect for housing a visiting grandma from California. Although documents disclosing most of the proposed changes at Frogmore Cottage are barred from public view, council records teasingly reveal that the Georgian property now boasts a floating or sprung floor, a feature normally seen at indoor sports venues as it absorbs shocks to reduce injuries. The Duchess has practiced yoga since she was seven and is said to wake around 5 a.m. most mornings to stretch. Meghan's mother Doria Ragland is a yoga instructor. The council plans also indicate the construction of an energy center building which it is thought will house a 50,000 pound Zico boiler. The unit will provide low carbon heat, hot water and electricity to the young royal's new home. As the boiler requires a separate building, the Sussexes may have opted for a biomass boiler, fueled by wood and other organic materials. The same planning documents suggest that an outbuilding will be turned into a one-bedroom home particularly useful for Doria when she visits her new grandchild. The potential annex is described as having been a simple brick outbuilding in a state of disrepair, though the interior includes original features such as a fireplace, red tiled flooring, original light switches and what appears to be pink marble on the northern wall. Elsewhere, the renovations include a nursery, believed to incorporate a bedroom, bathroom, kitchen and a well-stocked playroom. The paint on the nursery walls is reportedly non-toxic and odorless and said to be both vegan and organic. Those close to the couple claim they have opted for gender-neutral colors. The interior decor has been designed by Vicky Charles, who is responsible for the interiors at Meghan and Harry's favorite celebrity hangout, Soho House, and is likely to feature a range of stone, gray and taupe hues, coupled with Nepalese cashmere blankets and throws for comfort. And apart from the occasional wailing of a newborn, Frogmore can expect to be satisfyingly peaceful thanks to reportedly extensive soundproofing, so even the croaking frogs at the edge of the garden, after which the house is named, will be silenced.